Welcome to the Oncology and Haematology Outpatient Department. We hope this short film will start to answer some of the questions you may have about your anti-cancer treatment. There are several different types of anti-cancer drugs and for the purpose of this film we will mainly be referring to chemotherapy. It is worth noting that if you are commencing immunotherapy, side effects can be slightly different and last longer than those mentioned in this DVD. Although separate information regarding this will be provided for you, there are still some very important pieces of information that are relevant to your treatment that we will cover. In this film, we will explain how treatment is given, possible side effects you may experience, including the risk of serious infection, and the supportive services that are available to you whilst having chemotherapy. Don't worry if you can't remember all of the information we give you in this DVD. We shall provide you with a link to the information, or if you wish to take a copy of the DVD home, simply ask one of the nurses and please return this once you've finished with it, so we can pass it on to someone else. Chemotherapy damages healthy cells as well as cancerous cells and because of this you may experience some side effects. However, it is important to remember that each individual will have a different experience whilst receiving chemotherapy. We are here to support you through your treatment and we suggest you bring just one family member or friend with you into the treatment room due to space available. Feel free to bring a book or other things of your choice to occupy you during your treatment. Any electrical devices must be battery operated. You may eat and drink as normal during your treatment and the person with you may buy refreshments from the shop within the hospital or you may wish to bring some food with you. There are hot and cold drinks available at all times and sandwiches will be available for you if your treatment is over lunchtime. We encourage you to drink a minimum of two litres a day, particularly the day before, the day of and the day after your treatment. This doesn't have to be water, squash, tea or coffee are all fine. You will be given your chemotherapy in a treatment room usually with other patients. We also have the mobile chemotherapy unit which visits Scarborough, Bridlington, Malton and Selby. Please note that not all treatments are suitable for the mobile unit, although if you live in these areas and would like to receive your chemotherapy closer to home, please ask your pre-assessment nurse if the particular treatment you are having is suitable. There are different ways of giving chemotherapy depending on the regime. It may be given in tablet form as a subcutaneous injection under the skin or intravenously via a cannula in the back of your hand. Some people need a Hickman or PICC line to receive their chemotherapy. Your nurse can provide you with this information if necessary. You will be able to walk to and from the toilet with the treatment running. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. We will now discuss some of the more common side effects you may experience. Chemotherapy affects the lining of the digestive system, starting with your mouth. This means that your taste may change throughout your course of chemotherapy. People often describe this as being chemical or metallic. You may find you need to experiment with flavours such as adding extra spice or seasoning to meals. Your mouth may become sore. If you notice changes, please let us know. Ulcers may form or you may notice a white coating. This may indicate oral thrush. Please tell us if you experience any of these symptoms. We can help make things more comfortable for you. Good oral hygiene is important. It is advisable to use a soft toothbrush to minimise harm to your gums and rinsing with salt water as opposed to using strong mouthwashes. It is important that you do not have any dental treatment without speaking to us first. Due to changes in the lining of your digestive system, you may experience indigestion, for which we can provide you with medication to help with this. 
Nausea can be a common side effect too, however we can manage this using very effective anti-sickness drugs. Although, if you are still feeling sick or being sick whilst taking the medication provided, please let us know so that we can provide you with an alternative. Chemotherapy can sometimes cause diarrhoea, for which we can dispense anti-diarrhoea tablets. If, despite taking these medications as prescribed, you continue to experience diarrhoea, it is important that you highlight this to us. If on the other hand you have constipation, simple over-the-counter laxatives may be taken, but we would advise that you call and discuss this with the nurse first. In both instances, it is important to keep your fluid intake up. Fatigue is very common and may increase as your treatment continues. Even as you are resting, your body is working hard to replace the good cells. You may have good and bad days, even on good days, ensure that you pace yourself and try to prioritise tasks as you may tire easily. It is not uncommon to experience dry, gritty or watery eyes. Please let us know if this happens so we can help you with this. If you notice any rashes or cracks on your skin, often fingertips or heels, please mention this to your doctor or nurse. You may experience sensations such as pins and needles with some treatments and you must let us know if you notice any numbness. Some chemotherapy regimens can cause temporary hair loss or partial thinning all over the body. This includes eyelashes and eyebrow hair. Although, some treatments shouldn't cause hair loss at all. Do speak to your nurse or doctor if you are unsure on how your treatment will affect you. At the hospital, we offer hair loss support services to help you with this. Some people may experience headaches. Increasing your fluid intake usually minimises this. Patients occasionally report experiencing blurred vision, but this is usually temporary, which is worth bearing in mind before going to the opticians. We ask that if you require any treatment at the opticians that you discuss this with us first. Whilst on chemotherapy, you are at more risk of developing a blood clot. Your nurse will provide you with a leaflet on what you need to know about preventing blood clots. It is important you read the information which will offer some advice on how you can reduce the risk of this happening and what to do if you suspect one. Following information is very important and explains about the risk of serious infection and the action you must take if you experience the symptoms described later. It is important that we monitor your blood when you are on treatment. You will be provided with a blood form by the nurses and advised when we require you to have your bloods taken. You can arrange to have this taken at your GP practice, community setting or at the blood taking department at the hospital. When we receive your blood results, we will monitor your haemoglobin levels. These may decrease, causing anemia, and we can treat this if necessary. Platelets are another blood component we will check. These help clot the blood. If you notice unexplained bruising or bleeding, please tell us immediately. White blood cells help the body fight infections. These will drop on average 7 to 10 days after chemotherapy. During this time, your body's ability to fight infection will be at its lowest. It is really important to be vigilant and watch out for early signs of infection at any point whilst on treatment. For example, a cough or sore throat, burning or pain when passing urine, feeling sick, being sick or having diarrhoea. If you experience fever-like symptoms, for example, hot and sweaty or cold and shivery, please take your temperature immediately. Make sure you have a working thermometer at home. 36 to 37 degrees Celsius is usually considered normal. Although you do not always get a temperature with an infection. If you feel unwell, with or without a temperature, you must ring us straight away. You may take paracetamol, but it can mask a temperature. Always take your temperature before taking any painkillers and be vigilant about signs of possible infection. 
you can become seriously ill very quickly and this is considered a medical emergency. In this situation it is important to plan who can bring you into hospital. If nobody is available to bring you, the nurse will usually arrange an ambulance to bring you into hospital. Please do not turn up without calling first. It is important that the most appropriate people are available to see you. It is okay to go into public places such as supermarkets and visit friends and family. We encourage frequent hand washing whilst preparing food and after visits to the toilet and public places. Also, we would advise that you should avoid people known to have infection as far as possible. We will also give you a chemotherapy alert card which has all our contact numbers on. It is important that you carry this card with you at all times and show it to anyone needing to treat you. Some people plan to continue working whilst having treatment. If this applies to you, please discuss this with your doctor or nurse. You can continue to have a normal sex life during treatment. However, we recommend that you or your partner use a condom during sexual intercourse while you are having the course of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is dangerous to unborn babies and this will also protect you and your partner from any chemotherapy drugs that may be present in bodily fluids. If you suspect that you may be pregnant, please tell your doctor or chemotherapy nurse immediately. We would also advise that you flush the toilet twice after going and to close the toilet lid before flushing. We recommend that you don't drink alcohol on the days of chemotherapy treatment, although throughout the course of your treatment, having alcohol in moderation is okay. We encourage you to consume a nutritious and well-balanced diet to help maintain a healthy weight and aid recovery. Always ensure that you cook food thoroughly and store food at the correct temperatures to reduce the risk of food poisoning. If your appetite is an issue, your nurse can offer you some practical advice on ways to maintain an adequate calorie intake and can refer you to the dietitian for some extra support if you need it. Some chemotherapy treatment regimes require regular visits to the hospital. It is worth noting that we offer free car parking on the days you are having treatment. In addition to this, if you are having any financial concerns whilst having chemotherapy, we can offer support and refer you for specialist guidance with this. Taking herbal remedies, vitamins, green tea and other over-the-counter medications is not advisable during treatment. If you are unsure about any that you are taking, then please ask. Whilst you are receiving chemotherapy, you must always contact the hospital telephone numbers given to you for advice. We advise you not to phone the GP with any concerns as they may not have sufficient information available to advise or treat you. Remember, we are all here to support you and your family. Feel free to raise any concerns you have with the nurse during your pre-chemotherapy assessment. Specific advice and information about your chemotherapy regime will also be given during this time. If you need this information in braille, large print or languages other than English, please tell us so we can arrange this for you. Remember, ring us if you are concerned or need any further advice. Thank you for listening. <laughs>